What's up YouTube? Today we're going to talk about multi-sig wallets and how to use the nano wallet as a multi-sig escrow service. And what this is for is just in case you decide to do a large transaction over the internet, let's say you want to sell an ounce of gold or you want to buy an ounce of gold and you don't really trust the other party. So what we're going to do is set up an escrow wallet so that both of you as a buyer can send your funds and allow the seller to put their signature and then add a third party. So that way you can do two out of three signatures or more than one. So let's get started. We have our account here and we're not going to use this main account. What we're going to do is create a new escrow account so that we don't have to uh, burn and burn our address. Because what ends up happening if you convert your existing account then that account becomes under the control of the co-signers. So what we're going to do is sign up and create a new wallet. And with this one we're going to call escrow wallet. It's going to be on the test net. I'm going to do a simple password for convenience. You should really always make sure that your password is complex. Okay, don't really need this. We already know to back it up back up all these things and make sure that everything is good. So now that that is done, I'm going to add the escrow wallet. And from here, I'm going to go straight into services and convert account to multi-sig. So I can't convert it right away because I need a public key. And so let's see, let's grab that. Let's go into the node. Sorry, account, grab the key. The way to get this public key is to initiate a transaction. So, or I should say get a transaction. So I'm back to my original account. I'm going to send this some funds. And this is where hopefully we should get a public key once it's done. As you can see, it gets in. It's unconfirmed, but once this goes through, it takes about a minute. Oh, it's actually faster than that. So now that we have the account, in order to force it, I believe we can just change the address. And uh, let's see. Bucks. How do we, let's go to services. We'll add a new signature. So this one, we have to go into accounts. We're going to use our private key. You can get your private key under accounts. And you enter in your password. So keep in mind, this is demo. This is going to get burned right after. Right, right after. So luckily, you can't see all of them. And it should be blurred anyway. So we'll go back, convert this account. So it's the escrow wallet. Add the public key. And what we're going to do, we can't add ourselves because this is the actual signer. So we'll go to the original, the test wallet, and make this one a signer, a co-signer. So we'll add that. Then we'll go to some of the other wallets that I have right here. This one's actually burned, so I can no longer use that. Let me get this out of the way. So I'll take this account and this other account will be a co-signer. Take that, add that as a signer. So you can see now I have two signers, two co-signers. And what you want to do is add a third to, to make it a, a, three, a two out of three. And then you'll change this one to two signatures. So for instance, if we just did minimum one signature, we'll go through and send it. And you can see it takes half of them to create. So at the current rate, it's five cents, five to seven cents to create a uh, escrow account. So we'll send this. The only way to initiate a transaction now is going to one of the co-signers and going to send. Uh, as you can hear that it just went through. So. The create multi-sig is done. And now I go to my dashboard that's completed. This would be exactly what you're looking for. You can see who's added. So normally, like I said, you would want two out of three. 
or in this case, you would want another account, a trusted third party, because this is the buyer, this is the seller, and you would want someone else to watch and then make the minimum cosigners two. So in this case, now we're going to go through and then look at how we can change it. So now we have a total. We'll have to go to the multi-sig account, and this holds the balance. And from here, we can actually send it. So if I'm buying, this has a larger account, so I'm buying. So what's going to happen is once the package has arrived, I can claim it. So I'll basically what I'll do is I'll send this to myself. So I'll choose the proper account, then add the recipient, do the total, then complete it. Right? So we'll do that and then let's make sure that we can actually do it. Okay, so I didn't include the balance, so it's 0 0.1, 0 0.15, so that should be 25. So if I do 1925, that should send the total to this wallet, right? So I'm claiming the, the funds now. Okay, as you heard, that it's an unconfirmed, and it's waiting for a co-signature. So if I've already signed this on the CryptoStackers account, now I go to my test wallet, I can look for it. As you can see, unconfirmed, it requires my signature. So I'll go back to services, sign the account. Wait a second. Services, sign existing. Does this go straight to me? Oh, it went straight to me because there's only two. So as you can see, this was a little bit of a mistake, but at the same time, it's a good one because now we get to see that I used one signature. That was the, the reason why it went through. This I only required one minimum co-signatory. So instead on this next one, let's do this one more time. So let's send to Zem. Now that we have the account established, what we can do is something different. So this is the multi-sig wallet. What we're going to do is refund it. So you can reuse this. So keep that in mind. So now we're refunding the, the signature. And also this time what we're going to do is uh, update the we're going to update the contract the existing the multisig so that we can increase so it has two signatures so you see this one has one so we'll add a signer we'll make a modification all right so we're back it took a minute for the funds to transfer and now you can see them and I had to change the minimum signatures from plus one to from one to two. So the way to do that is using negative one to subtract one or plus one to add someone. And that's what you would do here if you wanted to add or remove a signer. So now that I have two, in order to use this to withdraw it, I'm gonna go to my account. I'll take my account. And now that I need two. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to send, multi-sig, pick the one with the balance, and we'll send it to myself. We're going to take all of the funds from there. So this is 30, because you have to take the fee, and it's 199.05. And that should clear out the account. I say, let's just say complete. And that should be, that's right. So now it's 25 plus 35, let's say it's 10. 1.10. Right, okay, let's do that. So now we have to wait. So as you can see, I edited the contract and it cost me 65.65 .65 Zem 
what I did for this contract was add one signature, an additional signature. So now that we see that, now we see that this one is completed, but before it needs co-signatories because we updated the contract so to require two. So we'll go back to, oh, this is me editing. We'll go back to the main wallet and go into services, sign multi sig contracts, and you can see now, this is what I was expecting the first time, but wasn't there. And one of the reasons why I'm showing the mistake is because I'm sure this will happen to a lot of people because uh, it's happened to me a couple of times where I was wondering where it should be. So now, in order to complete the transaction and unlock the funds so that this account can go from 49 Zem to and add the 199, right? So you can see it's a different account. And keep in mind, this is a different, uh, this is the test net. So now I'm gonna add in my password and co-sign the transaction and release the funds. Now that's interesting. Apparently, the funds don't have enough. There's not enough tra uh, funds in the transaction. So what can we do here? Let's see. Okay, so I found out what was wrong with it. Apparently, because I used I used the complete balance and left it with, with a 0 0.10 Zem, there's not enough to complete the actual transfer itself. So now what we're going to do is we're going to send a little bit more Zem. So we'll take the contract address, we'll send it uh, to Zem, and just uh, send it on over. So as you can see, the contract has been updated. Uh, once it gets confirmed, we'll be able to uh, uh, sign out the, complete the transaction. Right, now that it's confirmed, go back to multi-sig services, sign multi-sig transaction. Now we should have enough balance to complete the transaction. And it's completed. So as mentioned, this can be used for a variety of things if you want to get a little bit better of an understanding of the, the technical specs and uh, uh, a little bit outdated version, then you can check the blog.nem.io website, which has the, the document. Also, another good one is uh, YouTube, where there is a NEM multisig, another NEM multisig that's a little bit more in depth. Let's see. We'll go to NEM with Tongo Congo. So this one is a very detailed walkthrough. I'm just kind of rushing through it, showing my mistakes as I go. If you want to try to set up an escrow account, go ahead and set it up and I'll leave my test, my crypto stackers uh, account public address in the comment section below and you can add me as a signatory, a co-signer so that in order to release the funds, you can play play around with it, and I'll be able to get it and release it for you. And we can go from there. You should be able to play with it. Hopefully, this kind of interactive demo is something useful. If you haven't set up an account, go ahead and refer to my last video. I've also included a link to my multi-sig video that explains kind of what multi-signature does. Hopefully, you kind of understand it just from here. And let me know what you think of this video. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe.